So let's talk about intra-workout fatigue. This is something that needs to be accounted for in our programming. Doesn't matter what your goals are. If you're an athlete, if you're more strength, power, and speed focused, or if you're a bodybuilder and you're more hypertrophy focused, this is something that needs to be accounted for when you're building your workouts. And the best way to account for it is just by graphing it out. So here we have a graph of fatigue over time during our workout. During our warm-up phase, this is where we do most of our mobility and most of our dynamic stretching and you know skips and hops, you know, low-level plyo work. It stays relatively steady, there's not much modulation. As soon as we get to our developmental phase, this is where we do most of our speed and power development. You see a sharp increase. As soon as we get to our strength phase, it continues to increase but at a lesser rate. And then during our conditioning phase, depending on what type of conditioning you're doing, you might see a steeper curve or you might see more of a flat curve. If it's more high intensity cardio, it's gonna be steeper. If it's lower intensity, more aerobic, then it's gonna be more steady. So here's a potential workout structure that we can use taking fatigue into account. So during our warm-up phase, this is where we do all of our mobility work, all of our self-myofascial release, all of our breathing, our dynamic stretching, as well as our low-level plyos, skips and hops. As soon as we get to our developmental phase, that's where we do the majority of our more technical or more intense movements. So all of our sprinting work, all of our plyos, uh, and all of our Olympic lifts, uh, basically anything that is high intensity resisted or that is sport specific, we all keep in this developmental category. Our ollie lifts, that's gonna count as our primer for our strength section. Our strength section is gonna be all of our lifting. So whether you're an athlete focused on straight power speed, you're a bodybuilder focused on hypertrophy, all of that's gonna take place in the strength phase. And then for conditioning, this is mainly for athletes. Uh, this is where we're gonna do all of our endurance training. So within zone one to zone three, zone one's uh, low intensity, whereas zone three is uh, high intensity, you know, very anaerobic. That's, we do all of that in our conditioning session. And God's conditioning is running, but if you're looking for a lower impact form of cardio, you can bike, you can swim, you can row. There's a couple different options there. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, please like, comment, share for more.